Alright, now that we have loaded the data, let's make some plots. Notice that the columns that we had here are now all under this section here. The blue colored ones are the independent variables and the green ones are the dependent variables. Now it's time to ask some basic questions. What do we want to see in this plot? Let's get started with the most basic question possible. How many people survive? This section at the top are known as shells. What we are going to do is we are going to drag an independent variable to columns and a dependent variable on the rows. Good thing about Tableau is everything is drag and drop. If you look at this plot, it shows that everyone survived and no one died. Well, that's weird. So what's going on? What Tableau did here is Tableau added the entire su survival column. So let's take a look at the survival column again. Uh, if anybody survived, that's one. And if they didn't, that's zero. So Tableau added all zeros, which ended up being zero, and all ones, which ended up being 700 and something. So what we have to do is we'll have to click on this arrow here and change the measure to count instead of sum. Now that makes more sense. About 1500 people didn't survive and 700 people survived. Let's make this a little bit more prominent in the plot. Hold on to the control key or command if you're in a Mac and hold and drag survived into the color mark. Now you'll see that a legend has popped up on the right. Let's drag it and bring it over here. So now the two categories, survive or didn't survive, can easily be distinguished by color. Now that we answered our first question about how many people survived and how many didn't, it's time for us to ask more questions. A very simple question would be, instead of asking how many people survived, can we ask how, what percentage of people survived? It's very easy to answer that question in Tableau just click on the drop down arrow here, go to quick table calculation and select percent of total. Now from the plot, you can easily say that about 67% did not survive, whereas only just 32% survived. Let's just quickly go back to what we had before. So let's click on the drop down again. And this time we will click on clear table calculation. Now we are back to the normal count. Next, what we will do is, instead of hovering over the bars to see exact number of people who survived and didn't survive, we're gonna add labels to this plot. So, holding onto the control or the command key on your keyboard, hold and drag this variable into the label mark. This will add the labels at the very top of each bar. Okay, so let's ask one more question. Let's say we want to determine if age had any factor or had any contribution to the number of people who survived or who didn't survive. Let's drag the age dimension into the columns. And we have just two age here, adult and child. As you can see in this plot, that most of the people who did not survive were adults. Instead of having two different columns for no and yes, let's stack this entire information together. So what we will do is we will hold and drag age and move it over and place it on top of the survive dimension. This stacks age on top of the survive dimension and eventually we end up with a better plot with color coding for people who survived and who didn't. Now that we're done with the age plot, Let's quickly go down here, double click on the sheet one and rename this sheet to age. Good thing about that blow is once we have done this plot for the age dimension, we can quickly do this for all other dimensions as well. Just right click on the age sheet and click on duplicate. Now that we have a copy of the age sheet, let's rename this to gender and we will just swap age for gender. 
to remove age or to remove any pills these are called pills by the way to remove any pills from the shelf we will just hold on to it and drag it out of the shelf anywhere you want and we will replace it with gender pill by just swapping a dimension now you have the information that most of the people who didn't survive were males let's do the same thing for one more dimension we'll go over to gender duplicate the sheet replace the gender peel with the cabin class peel and rename the sheet to cabin class so now we have the number of people who survived in the first second and third class as well as information of the number of crews who survived or who didn't let's say we're just interested on the passengers and not the crews we can easily filter this out by holding the control on the command key on your keyboard and dragging the pill into the filter section now we will just untick crew select apply and press ok just for fun let's do another plot let's duplicate this sheet again and let's just drag in gender pill into the column section let's rename this to i don't know maybe cabin versus gender and as you can see here the most of the people who died were not just males they also held third class tickets all right notice that so far what i've talked about were all bar charts let's talk about some how to plot some different sort of chart let's create a new sheet here by clicking on this button at the bottom let's do the things that we did for our very first plot drag survive to columns and survival to rows and change this to count and holding command or control drag survive to the color tab. click on the button at the very right corner show me and select a pie chart let's add some labels to this pie chart holding control or command drag survive to label and you have some label here the yes and no are not so good labels so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this and i'm going to hold control or command and drag this here okay so now the problem is it's a little bit too small we can easily resize this by dragging the corners or the borders of it so i'll make it a little bit larger And there we have it. Let's rename this to Pi. And let's go on to create a dashboard and put all these plots in one single canvas. Click on the new dashboard button here at the bottom. And I'll change the size to a generic desktop. And I'll double click on all of the sheets. Once they're all in there, I can also resize them. I can reposition them. And have them all, have all of them together in one single file. 